we're programmed from the very beginning of our life to be concerned about what concerns our parents. Mm -hmm. And they're just the apple that fell off the same tree that their parents were on. And so you end up getting enculturated into a psychological orientation towards what is wrong. And, you know, if you look at Angelis Arians for primary causes of addiction, I'll see if I can remember them all, but she traveled the world. She, she was an amazing shaman and an anthropologist, and she traveled, I think, over 110 countries, speaking to the elders, speaking to medical professionals, and speaking to addicted people, doing interviews to see what they thought was the cause of addiction. And she did this for 10 years, and then she tabulated her data and she identified there was four common denominators that lead to addiction. One of them is focusing on what's wrong. Mm -hmm. Two is perfectionism. Three is being raised in a family that has provides an intense environment. Four is the need to know. Mm. And we're raised in schools where we are praised for and rewarded for being good at memorizing other people's books has nothing to do with our actual learning ability, but we are taught that the more we can know and mm. regurgitate, the more love we get, the more special we are, and the easier our life is, and the better the grades you get. Right. So we get addicted to learning because it gives us se a sense of self, and it gives us a sense that we're wanted, needed, and valued. We are raised in environments where our parents and society constantly focuses on what's wrong. We have a lot of religious programming that we must be perfect or we are not accepted by Jesus or God. Mm -hmm. And many of us are raised in very intense family environments like I was, or we have the television running, filling the house with the bad news hour. My point is when you look at those four causes of addiction, they're just everywhere. Yeah. And so if you look at what you've been sharing about PTSD and how it develops, those four causes of addiction are repeated stressors, mm. and the addiction is the attempt to medicate the very issues that you're showing culminate in a PTSD profile. And we're medicating the symptoms. And we're right? medicating the symptoms, and they've made that uh, the, one of the most profitable industries in the world. And Yeah. Yeah, to that point, uh, which has now become government. Yeah. Right, and, really we're, and we're not going to bite the hand that feeds us. And that person's just convinced us that the cage we're trapped in is a safe space to be in, right? This is the, the oscillating cycle of being caught in the loop. You'll own nothing and be happy. And be happy. Right. That's the and trauma. And you know what my loop. response to that is? You first. <laughs> Show me what it looks like. Give me your airplane. We'll be waiting a while. <laughs> Give me your your jewels and your gems and your your everything that your mountain of riches you've sit on over there that you took from everybody else, and let's see how you do in that cage. Exactly.